This morning I'm out and about looking for the larvae of two of our most familiar spring butterflies. They are the brimstone and the orange tip, both known to most people and both very familiar and common butterflies. Finding the larvae of both species can seem like a daunting task, but they're both surprisingly easy to locate in the larval stage. Both the brimstone and the orange tip butterflies are very widespread and common throughout Nottinghamshire and indeed most people will probably have both butterflies fly through any suburban garden at least once every spring. The surprising thing about the brimstone is that its food plant is not common at all. Indeed it's quite rare and it's certainly an unusual find. Probably along the Trent Valley there's a number of sites where it tends to crop up, but it does occasionally turn up in the middle of former pit tops like this one here at Warsop Main Colliery. Where it does turn up, this purging buckthorn or Ramnus Carthatica is guaranteed to have the larva of the brimstone on it, and this one has. And before I explain where best to look for the caterpillars of brimstones. If you're determined to go out there in all weathers and look for the species in the larval stage, and I urge you to do so. I urge you to do it in better weather, actually. Not much fun when it's chucking it down with rain. But you need to be able to identify the food plant first. You're highly unlikely to have seen this shrub before, unless you specifically looked for it. It does occasionally turn up in roadside hedgerows in the Trent Valley and say, as I've mentioned already, you get the odd plant on some pit tops. It's certainly here at Warsaw Main and I do know of a couple of bushes on the former Calverton colliery site. The leaves are oval shaped and quite shiny, especially when new. You can see on the end there, the, those new leaves, how shiny they are. They do sort of dull and a little bit. And at the base of the new growth, you'll get these little tiny indistinct green flowers. They do eventually produce clusters of black berries. If I was to give a look alike, then I suppose, yeah, you could say it's roughly sort of apple-like in the leaf shape. Or maybe dogwoods. But it really is quite different. Now the key with finding any larva is to look at first on anywhere on the shrub, but particularly on the more sheltered locations for any larval feeding sign. And straight away my eye is drawn to this here, this leaf tucked away at the bottom. If I lift this up, indeed our quarry is there lying on the midrib. Now, it's the 31st of May today when I'm filming this. So the larvae at the moment are less than a centimetre in length. At least this one is. It's quite a bit of feeding damage though. Either side of the leaf there. And a little bit on that leaf edge. The larva of the brimst brimstone always lies and rests on that midrib, usually close to where the midrib joins the leaf petiole or the leaf stalk and faces out this way often it sits slightly proud of the leaf so we'll see if we can get you in a little bit closer so here is the brimstone larva unfortunately rather small at the moment but obviously with this i can tell you you've got plenty of time to go out and find your own once you've found purging buckthorn of course but the larva 
obviously always arrests like this down the midrib face down and facing away from the leaf petiole it usually sits at the very base of the leaf as it gets older there's obviously a lot more feeding damage to the leaves and it becomes altogether far more obvious a caterpillar to find with the scarce nature of buckthorn in our hedgerows here in nottinghamshire you will often find that one particular plant will have numerous larvae on it as far as i'm aware this is the only plant here on warsop main and as a consequence the f this one bush will be visited many times by the same female or a couple of females and they'll all deposit the eggs usually towards the end on the new growth we've just missed the eggs and just a shame i suppose we're a bit too early for the larva but at least you know now what to look for as this one starts to become a little bit active now here's a plant on which you can find one of our most beautiful of spring butterflies and, and indeed personally the orange tip butterfly especially the male is the quintessential lepidoptera sign of spring it's an absolutely stunningly beautiful butterfly and both eggs and larva are very easy to find on this plant which is garlic mustard sometimes known by many as jack by the hedge we're just too late unfortunately now for the eggs but the eggs are distinctly easy to see and they're bright orange they turn bright orange about a day or so after being laid and they're very easy to see in the tucked away in the florets there but we're just a little bit too late the last few orange tips are on the wing here in Sherwood Forest but just looking on these developing seed pods and you'll see or soon find the larva of the orange tip here is the orange tip larva just above my fingers on this seed pod look if I turn it around I'm trying to keep this in focus so you might have to look at me grubby forefinger and thumb you'll be getting accustomed to that one side of the caterpillar is green it matches perfectly the color of the garlic mustard seed pod that it's on and as you turn it round i'm presuming that the caterpillar is two-toned because it's evolved that color because you can see now how the seed pod that it's on is now shiny on the top or on the right hand side as you look at it and a darker green underneath and that's mirrored by the orange tip larva this one's around about an inch long so this is probably fourth instar another one to go they are quick growing they're also cannibalistic so if you do keep these and they are very very easy to rear don't keep two together because the larger one will always eat the smaller one unless you put lots and lots of garlic mustard in with it but the larva only feed on the seed pods but they will use all the plants as well in gardens they will use honesty but the preferred food plant is this garlic mustard well that's the half grown caterpillar or two thirds grown perhaps caterpillar of the orange tips a really easy species to find